so this happens to me all the time at events. It freaks me out. People come, hi, hey, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't know you. Like, out of my face, you know. And I, have, and I have a very big personal space thing. Like, everyone around me knows, like, this is the no-fly zone for Onyx. Like, we don't, and people come up, and then they'll eventually be like, oh, I'm sorry. I feel like I know you from, like, your emails and videos. And I'm like, okay, you know, like, but I don't know you. <laughs> so, um, but that is, it's a bit of an art, Okay. And I forget sometimes, because I've been doing it for 12 years, and it comes to me naturally, but my team continues to remind me that. If you want to get up to a dollar plus value, you've got to have things in there that are your own, and you've got to have the proper funnels. So a dollar is, is for a good marketer. You know, that number came from a marketer that understands funnels, that understands getting people into higher ticket, lower ticket, getting people into continuity, getting people like, you know, that's, that's the full spectrum. But it's funny, because if you really understand that stuff, a dollar is actually quite a failing number. You're not doing well. Um, but before, before I get into that, like, uh, I, I, this happened very recently. It's a very funny story about your voice and who you are. And uh, so I was watching a sales video last year. You, you, you'll know Vitali Secrets, Joe Vitali, right? I love Joe Vitale. Like I've, I've watched him since I was a kid. Basically, you know, I watched him and Bob Proctor. They were like the two people I used to watch the most. And Joe just, I met Joe last year, and the first thing I did is I gave him a hug. And I'm sure he thought that was really weird. I was the guy that ran up to him, like, <laughs> you know, but I totally, I just went right through the space, and I just hugged him. And he said, why? And I said, because I watch your videos, and I just want to hug you. You look like that huggable uncle, like the way you talk, the way, you, and he's actually kind of like a rad, cool kind of guy, like a, like a biker type, so he's like, you're not a biker, but you know what I mean, like he's into cars, and he's probably like get off me kid types, but... He got this like very huggable persona. So I watched his video and I said, I like how he presents. So I'm going to make my next sales video like that. And then I got in front of a video camera and I sat down and I tried to mimic his approach. And I could just tell when I was just doing it, I was like, dude, this is retarded. This is not going to work. And I felt like an idiot doing it, but I was like, hey, guys. Na, 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 na. And I took that video, and I sent it off to uh, my, one of my best friends and also like a you know, brilliant marketer who I trained up, and his name is Jimmy. And I sent it to him, and I said, hey, man, what do you think? And I didn't tell him what I was doing. And he, writes, he calls me back. Okay, he never calls. He calls me back, and he says, listen, Joe Vitale Jr., that was the shittiest video I've ever seen. He didn't know I was trying to mimic Joe Vitale. But he knew that I had been admiring that sales video for a while. And he was like, can you please stick to your style? That was freaky. That was, that was like creepy. Like, don't do that. So I went back and I shot the same video, but the Onyx way, right? And it came out completely naturally. Um, I have my own way. I have my own body gestures. I have my own way of speaking. And it resonates with some people and it doesn't with others. And the ones it doesn't resonate with, it's great. Get off my list. You know, not in a bad way, but what's the point? You know, and the ones that it does with, guess what happens? They end up in this room, and I get to build a relationship with them. So um, building that voice of yours, don't try to copy mine. Um, don't try to copy anybody's, because it's not going to work. Do it yourself. Build your own voice. And, and you're right. It really speaks through email. Um, one of the things I always laugh about is people talk about content emails, right? And I say, yes, you're right. But when a list is first built, you have this nature to just cradle and, 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 and no promotions to my list. No, 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 no. I shall not. I cannot. This is my list. They must have only good stuff and free stuff. Guess what happens? Then two weeks later, you're like, dude, I'm not making any money. And I'm like, I got to promote to them. Then suddenly you send out a promotion to them. And the next day you're like, yeah, man, I sent 600 clicks. I got one sale. Like, that's not worth it. I'm like, it's, it. And at the same time I did it to the same number of lists and I got like 15 sales. What happens is it's totally you training your list. So I always tell people right in the beginning, I know that they're your list. I now know that it's, but you're not helping them if you're not promoting to them. People love to buy, by the way. All right, people love to buy. You're here because you like to buy. Let's just be honest, okay? Some of y'all went Inbox Blueprint, Profit Academy, all my continuity. I mean, y'all like to buy. So, so the point here is if, if you don't sell, right? You're not, you're not actually engaging your audience. They're not finding you interesting. They're finding the other guy who is selling. And so you've got to train them right from the get-go. Now, with me, my art of writing has become in such a way that even when I'm promoting to you, I'm giving you content. Sometimes when I promote to you, you don't know that I'm promoting to you, right? And I, and I intertwine webinars, and I'll do a video, I'll tell a story. 
but most of the time I'm promoting. There's something there that I would like for you to purchase, but even if you don't, you can walk away feeling pretty good about the value that you got from it. So build that voice, get to that point, but once you've mastered it, in my business, um, I range anywhere from three to five dollars per month per lead I have in my system. Um, I do promotions as an affiliate. I just did one recently a few weeks ago where as an affiliate, I promoted to a database of about 90,000 people. I made about $180,000 in commission in the span of a week. That's $2 per name on my list in commission made in a week. And I didn't stop promoting to that list. I, the next week, it was, I, I endorsed something else. Right? So um, that particular month, because of all my continuity and because of my live event and because of this, I probably crossed 6 $7 per lead. Right? So that is understanding your back end. So when I promote, um, for example, I'm going to do, um, for those of you who are in Profit Academy, I did a three-part webinar series for all my Inbox Blueprint customers where I, these webinars were like two, three hours each. Okay, they were great content. I still stand by them. I'm going to be doing it again in September. And anyone who took, anyone who was on the webinar got great content. And at the end of it, I pitched. At the end of it, I said, would you like more? Well, I've set up something called Profit Academy. And for $1,000, you can have this. And, uh, but if you don't, then hey, it's not like I spent three hours of your time pitching you. I spent two and a half hours of your time giving you great content and 30 minutes of that time pitching you. But I have absolutely no problem pitching you for that 30 minutes. Not only do I pitch you for 30 minutes, I'll sell you. I will go after you hard. I mean, for, you, for those of you at the event, Bob Proctor. I had, by the way, a lot of people are like, was that crafted? That was not, I didn't know what the heck was going on. Bob created that whole thing as he went. I mean, he had me in a room at 2.30 in the morning the night before saying, we're changing the whole way that we're you know, going to present this master, the, the mentorship program. I wasn't even going to do the mentorship program. I was doing something completely different. He comes in and, I want to do this, I want to do this, and off. And Bob does what Bob wants. So I was like, okay. You know? But the whole point there is um, he, he, he pitched hard. If you guys watched, he sold hard. And he didn't feel bad about it, neither did I, because we knew that it's, you're going to be here. It's a good thing for you. 